okay, so like how did the first astronauts in space, right, navigate the entire planet with a like children's toy? <laughs> so picture this, it's the 1960s and wow, Soviet engineers are facing this massive problem, right? They need to send a cosmonaut into orbit, but like modern electronics, they're brand new and super unreliable. So what's their solution? They decide to build a navigation system with like zero microchips. Can you believe that? Their plan was to create this mechanical computer that like physically mirrored the spacecraft's journey. And then they designed the Globus IMP. On the dashboard, it looked like this simple spinning globe in a case, but inside, oh my gosh, it was a masterpiece of clockwork engineering, like dozens of tiny intricate gears working together. As the spacecraft rocketed into orbit, the device received flight data and the little globe. All right, so check this out. The cosmonaut, right? They start to turn like perfectly synced up with the ship's position just floating above the Earth. I mean, can you imagine? They could literally look down and see which country they were flying over in real time. Like, whoa. <laughs> and get this. They even had these pre-marked lines for their next orbit and potential landing zones. It was like incredibly precise and totally foolproof. But hold up, here's the kicker. While the Americans were all busy building these complex digital computers, the, the Soviets, they were just circling the globe thanks to a brilliant wind-up toy. 